Hey guys, what's up? It's GTO Technology, and today I'm going to make a quick video on how to open up your NAT for your Xbox using the Airport Extreme from Apple. Uh, today we will be using Airport Utility version 5.6.1, which can be downloaded off of Apple's website. This is for Windows only. Um, as of now, there's already a 6 point something for the Mac version, which has a different interface. Hopefully, um, it's similar enough for you to follow along if you're using a Mac. Uh, otherwise, um, I may have to make a separate video, so let me know if this works or does not work. Um, so again, first thing you're going to need before we get this started is version 5.6.1, Airport Utility, um, as well as to go ahead and turn on your Xbox. And once you've done those few things, go ahead and continue on with the video. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is open up this utility and then go to your main router or whichever one your Xbox is connected to. Um, once you do that, right click the router. Hold on, let me get off of this. Right click the router and choose manual setup. Enter in your password if need be. Okay, now that you are in here, go ahead and go to the internet tab. Go to DHCP and then press the plus icon for your um, Xbox. So just go ahead and click that. Once you click that, you will be prompted with this window. Um, for the description, put Xbox 360 and then reserve address by MAC address. Go ahead and press continue. As you can see, this is already filled out for me, but it won't be for you, so I'm going to go ahead and guide you through what you need to enter. So with your Xbox on and on the dashboard, though the dashboard interface may be different by the time you watch this, hopefully the network settings area is the same. So go ahead and go to your network settings. Alright, click on the network you are currently connected to. And then press configure network. Okay, so with my IP settings set to automatic or manual, does not matter. You will be given an IP address right below that. It should start off with 10.0.1. Uh, the numbers after that point one are what you want, so go ahead and take note of those numbers, and then back in Airport Utility, type those in this little box. Once you've done that, on the configure network screen, go to additional settings using the RB button, which will bring up this, and then go down to where it says alternate MAC address and press A. In the little gray text in the bottom left, you will be given your MAC address. Go ahead and write that down in the MAC address box in Airport Utility. Make sure it's in all capitals. I'm not sure if that matters, but I did do it that way. And once you've done that, press the Done button. And we are almost done. Um, now, under Airport Utility, under the Internet section, there should be an NAT tab. If not, go ahead and go to Advanced, and then go to Port Mapping. Press the plus sign, which should bring up a screen like this. And except for there will be no information entered. Go ahead and enter in all the information you see here on this um, window. Uh, TCP is 3074 for public. UDP is um, 88 and 3074 for UDP. Private IP is what you entered in before. Um, private TCP is 3074. And private UDP is 883074. So go ahead and enter in all that. Pause the video if you need to, but I'm going to go ahead and press continue. Set your description to Xbox 360, and then press done. Once you've done that, press update, and therefore um, your router will have to restart. Once it's done that, you don't need to restart your Xbox. Go ahead and relaunch whatever game you're in. If it's Modern Warfare 2, I don't know about the other ones, it will tell you your NAT type on the left sidebar of the matchmaking screen. Um, and it should be open. So thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.